Greetings, one and all two universes. In this show, we will analyze the stats, weapons, and abilities of two fighters to find out who would win in a battle to the death. Many people have predicted the outcome, so let's see who guessed right and who guessed wrong. And be sure to stay tuned after the episode so you can see the next fighters, and leave your predictions down in the comment section below or with a video response. And who knows, your comment or video response could be featured in the very next episode. With all that said, let's meet our two fighters. Buzz Lightyear of Star Command and Invader Zim the Reject from Urk. Previously, Buzz conquered another defender and Zim defeated another invader, but now they battle each other in a fight between good and evil. Who's gonna win the grand finals of this little space guy tournament? Let's find out. This is Universes. Alright, so there really isn't much to Buzz's story to be honest, so instead I'm going to go over something that a lot of people seem to have trouble understanding. You are a toy! You weren't the real Buzz Lightyear, you're, a, uh, you're an action figure! You are a child's plaything! This is not the toy Buzz from the Toy Story movies. This is the quote unquote real Buzz that the toy in the movies is based on. AKA the one we see in video games and on cartoons that exist in the Toy Story universe. I know it's odd, but it makes sense. You don't even know how many Buzz is just a toy comments I got last time I used him. So hopefully that cleared it all up. I know how difficult franchises inside of other franchises can be. Think like Itchy and Scratchy from The Simpsons. Anyways, Buzz Lightyear is a space ranger for Star Command. He's risen high in the ranks and become one of their best defenders, fighting the evil Emperor Zerg, sworn enemy of the Galactic Alliance. But of course, a good soldier needs their gear, so let's see what Buzz has up his arsenal. As a space ranger, Buzz has obviously been trained physically. He's in good shape and an expert at hand-to-hand -hand combat, mainly karate. His toy counterpart even has karate chop action. But of course, a soldier needs their armor and weapon. Buzz's suit allows him to fight in just about any environment, protecting in all sorts of different ways, defending from lasers as they just bounce right off of him, and his helmet protects from deadly toxins. Buzz's suit is also good for travel. With the push of a button, he can spread wings and fly around with a jetpack. Buzz's suit also has multiple grappling hooks that he can use at once for carrying large and heavy objects, and he's able to fire lasers from his wrists that burn so hot they can seal doors shut. He can use other various weapons as well that can be hidden in the chest piece of Star Command uniforms, like two fancy laser pistols. Weapons aren't his only strength though. Buzz is also an expert pilot and has his own ship called the Star Cruiser that has lasers, enemy detection devices, and a grappling hook of its own to reel in ships that go rogue. It's also quite durable and will take something a bit stronger than just a few puny lasers to destroy it. Speaking of lasers, Buzz's are pretty strong. One shot is able to blow the tops off of buildings and destroy robots. He also has rockets and grenades that are able to destroy small asteroids, and Buzz is pretty tough too. He was able to survive a point-blank shot to the chest from a weapon stronger than his own. It must be that armor. I mean, after all, he did survive an explosion covering an entire wasteland without a scratch. But then again, he did survive his house exploding when he didn't even have the armor on too. I promise it happened. I can't remember the name of the episode for the life of me, but I can guarantee you it happened. Anyways, enough about durability. What about speed? How speedy is this ranger? Answer, very speedy, like billions of times faster than light speedy. Buzz was fast enough to pilot his star cruiser out of the path of Zerg's evil infused Unimine beam at the very last second. This beam is fast enough to travel across the entire galaxy in mere moments. This ain't no outlier either. Buzz's jetpack is able to keep up with his own ship and even regular vehicles can travel to other planets in mere seconds. But another faster than light foe is more than ready for a battle, so let's take a look at Zim. Buzz Lightyear mission log. Zerg's dark Buzz shadow Lightyear looms log. over Zerg's the entire- dark shadow looms over the- Could you not do that? Could you not do that? Zim is an interesting little guy. He's the size of a human child, yet a complete war machine. In fact, he's so insane and power hungry that he once invaded his own planet. Sure, this led him to getting banished, but once he heard another war was on the way, he simply quit being banished and returned to join the fight. Of course, he wasn't supposed to be there, so he was fooled off into going to some unknown planet, which happened to be our planet, Earth. But of course, as the story goes, whenever there's an invader headed towards Earth, there's someone there to stop them. And Zim was no exception as his plans continued to get thwarted by Dib, the paranormal sci-fi geek. 
Despite his failures though, Zim's weapons, gear, and abilities are quite impressive. I mean, what's an invader without their fancy gear? So let's have a look. Well, first of all, Zim does have some interesting attributes to his biology that makes him physically superior to us humans. For example, he's strong enough to swing children around like baseball bats, and he can regenerate parts of his body. He even had half of his body liquefied once for lice repellent and was totally fine later. Another part of Zim's biology is his pack. Now from the outside, this just looks like some standard gear, but in reality, this pack is Zim's entire life essence. It's his knowledge, history, memories. This pack is Zim. His body is just some meat puppet for the pack to use. As such, removing the pack will kill the body. It can only last 10 minutes without it. A big weakness, sure, but the strengths more than make up for it. This pack can grow spider legs that assist in Zim's mobility and movement. It can also fire lasers that blow down walls. It carries all kinds of equipment too, like night vision goggles, communication devices, and even an organ harvester. That's right, in a quick flash of light, Zim can steal one of your organs and replace them with any other object. Zim's pack can also bring him back to life if he's incapacitated, and finally, Zim has his own ship called the Voot Cruiser, which thrusters can transform into laser beams. While Dib may be smart enough to get around a lot of Zim's gear, Zim is still able to conquer just about anything else. His spider legs give him enough mobility to take down a giant alien baby mutant, his lasers can blow down walls, and he can survive beatings from bigger, tougher aliens. Speaking of durability, Zim can take a lot of punishment. He explodes like all the time. His ship, his machines, and he once even survived having the entire city explode. Zim is also quite resistant to heat. He survived several hours in a suit filled to the brim with boiling grease, his race can survive flying into the sun, and Zim himself was completely unaffected by atmospheric re-entry. Zim is also pretty fast. His ship, the Voot Cruiser, was able to travel to Earth from outside the galaxy in just six months. His pack transformed into a jet pack that could fly him across Earth in just a matter of seconds, and he was able to pilot rocket-powered planets around the solar system in mere seconds. That's millions of times faster than light. But now it's time to find out which speedy space guy will be fast enough to snatch victory. Let's take a look at your predictions while I calculate the results. Hey everybody, it's Zuko, and we're going to be doing another universe's prediction, and we're here with uh, Aiden Kerr. Hello. Tank Daddy eight five six. What up, my boys? And Corin O'Keefe. Hey, what's going on, guys? Corin O'Keefe here. All right. So right off the bat, who y'all going with? Uh, me. I gotta go with Buzz Lightyear from Star Command all the way. What about you all? I I'm gonna go with Zen. I, I, I mean I'm gonna go with Buzz. Yeah, I'd say Buzz. I don't really know much about Zim, but from what I've like researched, he's like not that good. And like from the new Kingdom Hearts trailer, I guess like Buzz Lightyear can keep up with Sora or whatever, who's like a Starbuster. So I don't, yeah, I don't know if that's canon. Well, I'm pretty sure it's canon, but I don't really know if the whole keeping up with him would be canon. But you know, it's yeah, but, gonna happen eventually. Whenever Kingdom Hearts three comes he did out, say specific. Well, he did specifically say Buzz Lightyear from Star Command, like the show. Uh, so I mean, I've the only real experience. I, that I actually I've, watched that. Like after I saw. Uh, Buzz versus Fox. I actually looked it up on YouTube and like binge watched the series. The only yeah, experience great. I have of Buzz is watching the three movies, and then there was like a Halloween special that I watched. But yeah, like from what I remember, like Buzz is just a toy. But okay, Can I mean, okay. toy. Uh, Buzz Lightyear of Star Command is like a. Black belt and karate. He can navigate faster than light ships. His reaction speed is like he reacts to other people's lasers. He can literally take out a couple of trained dudes. His armor. He can literally fly. Yeah, fast. So in terms of speed with the ships. It's a total stomp. A buzz. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I know this is kind of like noobish, and it's not really uh, what's the word I'm looking for efficient. 
But I looked at a quick rundown on versus wikis uh, for Zim, and from what I saw, Buzz is more impressive. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this like, is what I he lifted up that giant monster in the first episode, even though he had help from his partner that died. Spoilers. Uh, so that's an impressive strength feat, while Zim doesn't really have anything in terms of strength. Okay, now the durability. <laughs> well, durability. Buzz's ship is durable enough to take tank blasts and lasers from the yeah. from the fictional fights episode. I don't yeah. really know if Buzz is gonna be having his ship during the fight. If he does, then I that wouldn't be really unfair. But it's kind of like weird. Yeah, I definitely think Buzz has combat advantage. He's obviously a black belt in karate. Uh, that's that's pretty clear. He has durability. His suit alone is, you know, as durable as his own ship from what people are saying. And, like, his lasers, he can set them from stun to kill. So. The only thing I may be seeing Zim could do to Buzz is that brain stealer thing that he used to kill the frog guy in fictional fights. But. Yeah, yeah. You got a point. That, I'm not really thinking of anything that Zim can do to really damage Buzz. Yeah, really. I'm going to be completely honest. I don't really know much about Zim. But the most experience I have of him was from playing that uh, Nickelodeon Globs of Doom game on the PS2, and it had him in it. Um, but that's not really canon. If it is canon, then Zim might actually win because Wait, he keeps up. Zim with also has that thing where he can like take his opponent's intestines or something. But yeah, like, he can steal their organs. That's what I was mentioning. Like, if he pulls that off, then you know. He can probably kill Buzz, but... Well, yeah. So all together... So yeah, all together, we're going with Buzz. and uh, All the way, yeah. Buzz Lightyear, Star Command, all the way. Buzz yeah. Lightyear is Bay. Yeah. Buzz Lightyear, FTW. Goodbye. And the results are in. The winner is... Buzz Lightyear. Yes, yes, it's because of that speed feat. You know, that speed feat I pranced around with to show how OP Buzz was, but then somehow forgot about when coming up with this matchup and didn't remember until I announced it publicly. <laughs> yeah, that one. Sure, Zim piloting planets around the solar system in seconds is impressive, it's only millions of times the speed of light. Meanwhile, Buzz dodged a beam that could travel across galaxies in seconds, making him billions of times the speed of light, maybe even trillions. But if you think speed blitzing is the only reason Buzz wins, then you're sorely mistaken. So for the rest of these results, let's just pretend their speed is equalized and prove how Buzz could still win. Let's start with strength. Now Zim does appear to be more durable as he survived an entire city exploding with the need of any armor. Meanwhile, Buzz only survived the explosion of a wasteland, which would be city block to multi-city block level. But while Buzz may not be as tough as Zim, he's still tough enough to get around anything Zim can throw at him. Zim can't get past his durability. The laser from Zim's pack can only blow down walls, while Buzz's lasers can blow the tops off of buildings, and Buzz can tank lasers equal to his own without a scratch. So Zim has no way to get in. Meanwhile, Buzz is definitely strong enough to do enough damage to Zim in return. He can easily chip off damage with his weapons, gear, and even the Star Cruiser to end Zim over time. Not to mention if he damages or destroys Zim's pack, it's all over no matter how healthy Zim's body is. And considering Buzz's laser can one-shot full-sized robots, destroying the pack would be child's play. Now there is one hack Zim has that could help him win against opponents way tougher than himself and that's the ability to harvest organs. Now, of course, Buzz is fast enough to dodge this anyways, but since we're pretending speed is equalized, how else could he avoid it? It's simple, his suit. Buzz's armor and helmet is able to protect from poisonous toxins and laser blasts, so it's very likely the transportation properties of Zim's organ harvester wouldn't be able to get through. Zim always has to hold the harvesting device right above the head of the victim. It can't just go through anything, that's a no limits fallacy. So even if their speeds were equal, Zim would lose due to the lack of a useful arsenal and low attack power. The winner is Buzz Lightyear. Under arrest. Like I said, evil never wins. Get ready for the next battle. Long ago in a distant land, I, 
Ganon, the wielder of the Triforce of Power, unleashed an unspeakable evil. But a foolish Hylian warrior wielding a magic sword stepped forth to oppose me. Before the final blow was struck, he was laid to rest to awaken in a hundred years, where my evil is law. Now the fool seeks to return to Hyrule Castle and undo the evil that is Ganon. <laughs>